It is uh, my 52nd birthday, and uh, the crew here has arranged for not one, not two, but three mystery guests to call in. And the first one is already called in right here on this day. Uh, mystery guest, how are you? you th- <laughs> oh, no! It, it, it was a good pause because I knew you guys would get to where you were. <laughs> How are you, my brother? What's up, Michael Irvin? How are you, Irv? Uh, hey, Rich. Happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday. And I call you my brother. And I mean that not with that color thing that we call each other brothers with, <laughs> but a blood soul brothers. And I appreciate you, brother. Happy birthday, my brother. Thank you, Michael Irvin. I, I do love you uh, intensely. We bring this up frequently. Um, but you were at my wedding. Um, by the way, 18 years ago, earlier this month, you were there because uh, Susie invited you because you and she uh, had worked together on Fox Sports back in the day. So I've known you forever in a day as a friend and, and um, a loved one, for sure. Yes, Rich. Absolutely, buddy. I'm so glad as I, as I text to you, mm. and I will share this with everybody, I'm so glad that God intertwined our, our lives the way he has, and we've gone back so long and and going forward so much farther ahead so i so i just appreciate that buddy and i love your family man and and, and you do a great job and you do a great job with us every sunday as we come into everybody's homes man i'm just so blessed to have you happy birthday my buddy. i do feel the same way about you i do feel the same way about you irv what have you been up to let's talk let's kick it what, what, what what, I'm, I'm up to that to, 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 oh my god these these playoffs Rich, it's yeah. been insane. It's it been crazy, Rich. It's been so good. It's been so good. Now, I mean, did, did anybody expect them to be this good without LeBron and without Steph Curry? I mean, like they are right now. I don't know that many people thought it would be this good. What would you think of uh, Trey Young's shimmy last night, Irv? What would you think of that one before he jarred it? When he just kind of shimmed right there at the three before he yeah. took that shot like yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and your boy over in the huddle say, we just going to let him do this, right? In, in our building over here when Giannis was saying that, I thought that – and let me tell you something. That kid understands how big this moment is. He understands it. He's been waiting on this his whole life, mm. his whole life. You know, those free throws, I tweeted, this kid ain't going to miss them free throws. He's, he shot that free throw – so many times in his own head before he got right there in the reality. He wasn't going to miss those free throws. I, I, I just love seeing his growth, man. And, 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 and that RPO he has on the basketball court, Rich, that's an RPO. You know what I mean? That's that run pass, that, that's that run pass option you have on the football field. That little teardrop, you don't know if it's a shot or a whoop. Oh, uh, yeah, they're deadly with that. Irv, and, and uh, you know, the – the power of belief. I think that's what we're seeing too. I think that's why you're into this because I know you. I know you, and and the power of belief is so uh, intense when you see it manifest in a playoff right. series, regardless of the sport. We talk about it all the time with the NFL, and just seeing these four teams: Suns, Clippers, Suns. The last couple of games without Chris Paul looks like he's coming back tonight, and Clippers without Kawhi dispatching with the one seed Jazz winning four in a row the last two without Kawhi the Bucks you know doing what they did against the Nets who almost did it without Kyrie and then of course the Hawks I think maybe that's what you're into with the NBA playoffs right now if I had to guess and, and, and Rich you, you hit the nail on the head in this sense because all of these guys these young teams you know with the exception of the Bucks uh, these are young teams stepping out trying to grab their piece of the pie. I, I, I grabbed Michael Wilburn, and I had him on my podcast, the Michael Urban Podcast. Yes. I had Michael Wilburn on, and we talked about this. We talked about it. And he said even that Atlanta team, he picked out Atlanta, even though I see it in, 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 in Phoenix. And also, he talked about how they look like we looked early on when we went into San Francisco, and nobody really thought we would beat San Francisco. They thought we were a year away. We were a young team, Rich, that believed, just like you're talking about. And we believe more than everybody else. 
and that thing can carry you, man. And that's what you're seeing, and, and, and quite a few of these young teams right now. That's why I love it. You're right. That's what I'm drawn to. Yeah, because uh, and, and that's that's what um, I think many who are or into this are, are drawn to as well. You know, because and that's what we need right now, Rich. See, see this is what, what, what we're getting. What we need, even though we may not know we need it, coming off of what we just came off of, right. all of this COVID right now, we need this. So our bodies, it's like, it's, it's like your body, our body's craving it, and we're getting it. That's why the ratings are up, what, 39 to 40 percent over last year right now uh, in these NBA playoffs, because we need this, we've been craving this, and by golly, we get it. Yeah, we are getting it. I mean, Cameron Payne with 29 in game two against the Clippers, just Kevin Herter doing what he did in game seven for the Hawks. Um, you know, heroes, Chris he Middleton, did, exactly. You know, Chris, on this stage, yeah, Rich. Oh right. my God. So, <laughs> and man, that game, Terrence Mann, uh, man head over there. Exactly, oh my God. Terrence Mann <laughs> against against the Jazz, and and you're, we're watching what Trey Young's doing. What was the? So let me get into this with you, Michael Irvin. When you were in your um, your playoff run, your playoff heyday, your playoff ascension. What, what, what were you thinking about as that kid from Fort Lauderdale, from St. Thomas Aquinas? Uh, you know, one of many in your household with many brothers and sisters, getting that shot, knowing that this is your opportunity that you had been building for your entire life. What was that All mindset right. for you, Irv? And going for that stage, and going for that stage, and and and, and think about it now. And it is, it, you know, you get a little bite, and, and there's, you get a little bite of it, then you want more, you want more, because we went through that process. Remember the first year we go and we, we go beat Chicago. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, we go to Detroit and get slaughtered. Right. You know what I'm saying? We go and get slaughtered. But it was like, okay, next year we get back here, this won't happen again. You know you know what I'm saying? And it changed things. Rich, it's nothing like it, man, to walk on that floor right there. I, you, you saw when Trey Young held up that one right after. It goes back to what you were talking about. And the other dude, they've won on the road in every series. And they believe they can win on the road. We're we, we, we going to get one. We're going to get one. We've got one. That, 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 that right there, man, that connection. That's the same thing I was telling you guys. Tampa had when we were watching the Super Bowl. When I was saying, no, 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 this can't happen. I'm telling y'all why Tampa's going to win this game. Right. It's that thing, man. It, it, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. It really is. Michael Irvin here on the Rich Eisen Show. Irv, I noticed on your Instagram account, at Michael Irvin 88 uh, you attended a Mavs Clippers game uh, with Zeke and Dak. And uh, there's a photograph up on the screen right there. Um, two things leap to mind. First thing first, um, what was with the pants you're wearing? <laughs> I mean, there were holes all over it. I mean, I know that uh, we're trying to maintain a youthful appearance, but <laughs> what, what was that, Irv? What are those pants Rich, right there? What was those that? Were, those, were just, those were just some, some jeans. Rich, you know, the first thing, as my <laughs> friend, first, the first comment Zeke made when I walked in was, man, would you get those jeans? I, I, I need to get a pair of those. Who said you that? You know what I'm saying? Who Rich? said that? That's Who what said? Zeke said. That's the first thing he said. <laughs> well, well, I, I wouldn't call them jeans. I'd call them jean. There's only there's a lot <laughs> missing. You know. I mean, I would. I would. But they were covered. They were covered oh, patches. You know what I mean? They, they had covered. You know. Oh, like, okay. Those with skin showing. I, I think the 55 year old man showing skin. <laughs> 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 okay, but so so Zeke <laughs> says I got to get me uh, some of those. What was uh? What, uh how was Dak? What was that like? You're taking the temperature of two of the three current triplets. What do you what do you got? What was that all about? Oh yeah, right. man. And hey, listen, man. And, and they're they're in just great spirits. I mean, Dak is you know Dak is back. He really is back, man. I love that he's declared. Mm. Hey, that that's behind me. Because he knows, he knows he's got to go through stages. He really does. It, you know, when you come back from an injury like that, you have to go through stages. Like, okay, I'm on the field, feel pretty good. All right, people around me now. Okay, I, I, I can still move. I can jump. I can get out quick, quicker. Now, now, he still hadn't gone through that stage and really having live bullets or live bodies flying around him. So, so, so he knows he has to fight that ultimate monster right there. But it's a fight that I know Dak will be ready for when he meets it on the football field in his mind. He'll be ready for it. And when he gets over that, Rich, it'll be over. It will be over. Over what? What do you mean over? What's the phrase over in reference to? 
What? That because I, I, I believe that Dak is one of those guys that 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 loves to to uh, over uh, over over uh, over deliver. Yes. Over deliver. You 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 didn't. No one gave him a chance when he was coming in. No question. He's done. And he he over delivered. Nobody gave him a chance to win the job. He over he over delivers. Those first say what you will about what you're paying him now for what you paid him before. He over delivered. And now you're paying him a lot. And I do believe he'll still over deliver. Now that means delivering something great <laughs> when you get paid forty two forty three million dollars a year. Yes. And that challenge. He does a great job of attacking, meeting, and beating every time. Mm-hmm. So, um, by the way, I believe in him in, immensely. I, I love the guy. You're right. He has over-delivered. We, we did not expect him to do what he did when Romo's back broke in a preseason game in Seattle. Didn't expect that. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see Romo in the CBS booth, essentially, coming, right? Because, because Dak was so terrific. And then last year, what he was needing, he had to over-deliver, and he was doing that. I get it. What does over deliver look like this year? Irv. Well, yeah. if you come back and just deliver what he was delivering yesterday, yesteryear. Yes, sir. Yesteryear, prior to the injury, if you come back and deliver that, because he was he was he was phenomenal. Yes, he was phenomenal, and, and, and the defense tightens down, and it will tighten down. And, and, and with that, another year, even though, yeah, he went through what he went through, but you're yet another year uh, uh, wiser now with understanding thing and thing, understanding what you're doing and more control of it. Then, I, yeah, you'll see. And I, and I say over-deliver means you can run into the playoffs and get deep. Now, I just talked to you about how biting those things off have to come through a process. Do I believe there's a chance that they can bite – all the way to a Super Bowl, absolutely, absolutely. But it will come with a process as they get into the playoffs and get deeper into a playoff. And I, and I want to see them get to that, where they're ready to go deeper into a playoffs all the time, Rich. And then sometimes we'll be able to bite off the Super Bowl. Well, Irv, one of the many reasons why I love you uh, is multifaceted. One, that you're, you, you would answer the call like, hey, you call in and wish Rich a happy birthday. You'll surprise him. Uh, and, and another one is that, that uh, um, I know professionally, you are ready for anything. You're ready for a curveball to be snapped off 12, 6, you know, midnight to 6 p.m. You're ready for that. And uh, I'm about to throw one your way right now as a birthday wish to me. And, and this is also front-loading what, what Andy Gregg and Richard Isico and the rest of the NFL Game Day Morning production staff is going to throw at you anyway. So this is kind of front-loading it. Uh, I've got the Dallas Cowboys schedule here. I want to go win-loss one by one with you and figure out what the schedule will actually give me in terms of wins-loss by the end of the year, mm. the record. Okay, Michael Irvin, happy birthday to me. Oh. You up for that, <laughs> oh. Come on, Irvin. Come on, give him the NFL you Films music and get him in. The, here we go. Win-loss with Right now, right now, on June, on, correct, on June, on June 24th, oh. my birthday. This is. All, I, I haven't even seen, I just told you about the step in which that. No, that's too, that's too, that's too, that's too amorphous. That's too amorphous. I need to actually peg a win and a loss to schedules right now. We won't hold you to it. We'll burn the tape. <laughs> we'll burn the tape. And by the way, and by the way, Irv, <laughs> this is my gift to you. This is, no, hold on a second. This is my gift to you because if you're right, you will definitely use this. This could be usable. So it's disposable if you're wrong until I bring it up again. <laughs> but if you're right, if you're right, imagine how great you'll be. You're a seer. You want to be a seer. You talk about you're a seer all the time. Oh. Correct, Brockman? Yeah, you've, heard the, correct. you've heard the I'm a seer speech of course. on the set of Game Day Morning before we're on the air. You've heard it on the air, correct, Chris? Absolutely. I, I got, on, Irv. I got faith Irv. in the legend, Rich. I got faith in the legend. Okay, Irv. Here we go. It's the playmaker. I, I, I can go through this. I can go through this. Yes! yes! Here we go. Happy birthday to me. All right, Michael Irvin. Opener at Tampa. Cowboys win loss. What do you got for me? Win loss. Oh, the size of this game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me? What do you got? The size of this game. It is huge. It is, it is, hey, um, can you win a Super Bowl at home and then turn around and lose an opener at home facing America's team? Yeah. Oh. Uh, what do you got? Uh, win loss. Do the right thing, Irv. Uh, it's his first game back. That gets a great. He has a great. Gets his feel back for the game in this game. 
but but they, they may they'll come out of this one with the L, even though Dak will play great. All right, and so okay, there. very good, Irv. You dressed it up very nicely, <laughs> but a loss is a loss. Zero and one. What do you got next at at the Chargers? Get it? You start kicking the tires on the building where you might play the Super Bowl. What do you got? At the Chargers. Oh, they'll beat the Chargers. Okay. They'll beat the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> Monday night at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. What do you got? Come on. They'll beat the Eagles. Okay, we, that's... We, we, we don't need to discuss it. They'll All beat right. the Eagles. Sam Darnold coming in. The same Sam Darnold that sliced up the Cowboys a couple years ago when well, you and I were at dinner great. in London. What do you got? This works out great. It's work, what are you talking about? It's works out great. All right, that's the, right now. They're sitting three and one. Three and one. Right now, and you then it, you lose the opener. But right now, you're sitting three and one coming out of that first quarter, even though it was quarter with one extra quarter. That's game. right. Okay, yeah, seven. That's true. It's quarter-ish with 17 regular season games. Home right, right, for the right, Giants. Right. Home for the Giants. You, you, you know, home for the Giants. That, yeah. that you go in, you beat that game. You win that game. That's four and one. Right oh. at, four the, and one. at Belichick and the Patriots. Week six. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, and, and this, this, you got to get rid of that gnawing taste in your mouth from what happened, even even in that storm. And I know right now Gilmore is wanting some more money, but, but if I'm Amari and all of them, I want to go see them again. So, yes, you get a Cowboys of win right here. That's a five-game win streak. Yes. That's five and one going to the bye, and you are you are showing up at week seven NFL game day morning. We are having a blast, and you're like, you got nothing. Like, normally that's when we start hammering you. That's normally when we got the what's wrong with the Cowboys topic bar. You will be just high-stepping into that bye week. And then you come out of the bye week, you go visit. When the five and one, we going into the bye week, Rich, I'm wearing a 14 carat gold <laughs> okay, at the Vikings, coming out of the bye on Halloween, at the Vikings, trick or treat with Kirk Cousins. What do you got? Oh, that's that. It'll be a close game because Mike, uh, you know, Zimmer, Zimmer will do a great job with defense, but I, I do believe the Cowboys win that game. Sunday too. night, Sunday night football, it's a six game win streak. Home for the Broncos. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. Uh, the Cowboys win that game. <laughs> That's a seven-game win streak. They're seven and one. Home for the Falcons. Home for the Falcons. You beat the Falcons. You got the Falcons. That's an eight-game win streak. They lose the opener and then win eight in a row. Oh, my God. Then they're at the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. <laughs> and, this, and, and this is going to be the measure here now because right now, this is this is like one of those play games that we're talking about where you have to bite off and be a, become a big man here. The, the, the Chiefs sweep, just sweep by. They sweep by, and they win with a late field goal. Get this, by one. Late field goal, by one. Okay. So the eight-game win streak gets butt-kickered is what you're saying. So now it's uh, right, eight. Right, 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 right. right. But, but get what it does now. Get what it does. Get what it does. This hurts. But prepares in the midst of this great thing for your great promise. <laughs> it forges. It forges. And you remember it when you see them again. Go ahead on. I got you. I got you. It forges. It forges. Then comes Thanksgiving with the Mayox. The Raiders in. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> okay, that's you, nine you, and two. You, you, got, you, you, beat, you beat the Raiders. You beat the Raiders. At the Saints the next, next Thursday, full week of rest for both teams because the Saints play on Thanksgiving, too. At the Saints. This is going to be a tough game because it's at the Saints. Yes. And the Cowboys, right now, what are their record? What are the Cowboys' record? Nine and two. Eight and two. Nine, no. nine and two. Yeah. Nine and two. Yeah. The Saints, oh, my God. And, and, and remember, we have people back in the building now. That's right. Yeah. Back in the building. Oh, yeah. And I've said many times on the show, Rich, this is the only place that made my bones shiver inside my <laughs> body is when I played inside that Superdome. <laughs> Cowboys lose this game. All right, that's nine and nine and three at the Washington Football Team. Here we go. We're going to finish up strong. What do you got, Fitzy? At the Washington Football. Yeah, team. it's probably going to be Fitzpatrick Lions getting his job get, back. R- r- yeah, r- r- Fitzpatrick. He's going. He's going to get you one time in the year. He's going to get you. There's no doubt. He's going to do that. Back to back losses, Cowboys, right there. Okay, he's got nine and four at the Giants. You sweep the Giants. You sweep the Giants. All right. They sweep the Giants. All right, ten and four. Let's finish up strong. Home for the Washington Football Team. Day after Christmas this is, on NBC this, this Sunday this night. Is where and, and this is where you deliver your revenge 
for for for, for the game you got slip away uh, in, in Washington. Cowboys win this game. Home for the Cardinals, who came in and gave you the spankalanka last year. To right. use your phrase, and, and you, you, yeah, you beat the Cardinals. Now you got a better defense, and you you you, could, you, you contain everything in, in, in Kyler Murray. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then uh, finish up at the Philadelphia Eagles. You sweep the Eagles? Well, here, here but right now, we're, we're running into an issue of seeding right now. So, so, so now it, it gets to be... Uh, <laughs> Does it matter? You're saying, will it matter when the 12-4 and 4 go into Week 17? That's what you're saying. Will they rest their starters? That's what you're saying? Right, right. We're going, right, right. That's what we're talking about right Or maybe you get the so, win. So. You get the win when Sirianni benches Jalen Hurts to see what he's got in Flacco <laughs> in the fourth quarter. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> the final uh, game of the year. Wait, wait, wait. Where's this game? Is this game home? Or it's wait? in Philly. In Philly. Cold in day on in January 9th. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a loss? You see what you're saying? You're going uh, to the playoffs with a loss? It's a hard one, Rich. It's a hard one. It, it, it goes on what's around. It, it, if the Cowboys are needing it for for the race of, of, of trying to get home field, uh, a, a better seating, then, then they win that football game. But if they do not, then, then they're going to sit people and rest. But, Come but on, I, this I, is I, Mr. Lock of the Week. I, give, I me a, say, give me something. I say, but, but I will say they're looking to try to get uh, – uh, top seed, and, and they win that football game also. Yeah. Michael they're, they're, they're Irvin. All that. Michael Irvin doing the Dallas Cowboys win-loss game says the 2021 Dallas Cowboys, as of June 24th, my 52nd birthday on this planet in 2021, says the Cowboys in 2021 will go 13-4. and four. This takes a nice chunk out of the pie. There you go. Woo! 13-4. and four. That, 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 now Listen listen to me now. Yep. Listen to me. For what they have, that is absolutely, that that, that is, that, that 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 that's that's great analogy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the three eyes in Michael that, Irvin that, come out at the end. Break that way. Well, when this thing break that way, like this, I'm telling you, that's what I'm. For what they have, they can do that. I love you, Michael hey. Irvin. Thanks for calling in. You're the best. I'll see you soon. Probably in Canton. That's right, the next time I'll see you. But have a great. To work. I put you to work. <laughs> Way to put me to work. <laughs> <laughs> but I front loaded it. You're going to be asked to do this. You know you're going to be put in front of a touch screen. You know, first chance the producers get to make you do what I just did with you. It's yeah, like, we're going to be looking forward to it, Rich. Is it, I, I tell you what, this will be one of the most anticipated, and I really do believe, any of us we've had oh, it's so great. in a long time. Can't wait. It's going to be. And it's the perfect opener. It's the perfect opener. It sure is. about that on the show. It's going to be insane. Irv, take care of yourself. Have a great fourth. We'll chat soon. Love you, brother. Okay, buddy. Love you, too. And happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Irvin, everybody. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.